interesting conversation today on Facebook. Um, so a person contacted me from Kelly What's Common to Belief. Um, there was a bit of banter, you know, <laughs> between the two of us. He just kind of said, oh, you what's common person. I'm not talking to a what's common person. Um, but no, it was how it was how jokes and everything. But I just want to say, thank you, Kira, for getting in touch with me. Um, you know, it's very good to hear from you. Um, the, you know, I'm very glad that you, know, you reached out to talk to me. Um, about this, um, and she wanted me to talk about this, and she said it's okay to use her name. So I just said to talk about it because there's something you know, young people are thinking about, it, especially leaving so she isn't leaving so. And obviously, I sympathise with her because I know myself. Um, and she was just saying, you know, she's thinking about jobs and she's thinking about moving, to going to college, you know, a part time job, going to college, etc., etc., etc. Um, she's thinking about going to a university. I think she said Galway, um, campus in Galway. I I can't remember what she said, but some place in Galway, no. Um, but yeah, she was saying about the amount of you know how much it costs for apartment and everything like that. Um, and she was saying how stressful and how worried she is every night. Um, about you know, about this about the future. Um, because she says it's uncertain. And again, it's not. And she says she wants to live in Ireland. And she says she wants to live in Ireland. She doesn't want to move away. She doesn't want to leave her country, and her family and her friends. She doesn't want to leave that to go to another country. Like many of her relatives went to Australia, New Zealand, made a life, made a fortune over there. Um, made life made life for themselves better than they ever did in this country, um. But again, it's that stress, and again, as she said, it's taking a toll on him. And she is on medication, um. And she wanted me to say she is on medication for depression, um. Because she's worried. She is very very worried. She's very concerned. She's very worried about the future. And as I said to her, and she's worried. That she's obviously sitting some of the exams with the leaving sort, um. So that is our depression. I even said to her, to you know, because obviously she she didn't do the portfolio yet. She's doing it tonight. Um, for the last um, if she's going to do particular grades to sit the exam, and as I said to her, it would be in her best interest, you know, to think about it herself because again, again, life, you know, there's so much things happening in life than worrying yourself. Or worrying yourself does no good. There might be answers to somebody that worried himself about everything under the sun for the last few years, and um, it doesn't do any good. It makes the problem worse, and not better. And obviously. You know, I do sympathise with young people. It's very, very difficult. Obviously, now, especially with COVID and everything, that now nearly majority of business is closed and everything. It's very hard to find a part-time job or find a job at all. Um, it's very hard and it'll be very difficult. Um, but again, as I, I said to her and as I said to every young person out here that's in that position, and I know loads of them are worried about, you know, the future. They're worried about the future. The future doesn't look bright. And I might be honest with you, the future doesn't look bright. Things are, you know, prices for housing, you know, you know, for students and things like that, it's, you know, it's difficult, it's not easy. Um, and as I said to this girl, um, Kira, things will look up. Things, God closes a door and then opens another one. Um, and it's all about, you know, again, if you have faith and you trust yourself and you believe in yourself, again, believing in yourself. Because I often, and again, this is life story here, but I often used to say to myself, I can't do this, I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, like, before... Like, for example, Kira, just, uh, and I even mentioned it to you when I was talking to you. Before I showed my face on YouTube and everything, I, like, you can see how, like, if you look back at the beginning, I was very nervous but showing my face and things like that. And you see it here now, I'm not a bother, <laughs> not a bother on me. Um, and again, God opens the door and closes another one. Um, you know, God always gives you another opportunity. And God always gives you another gift. Um, and God always gives you another, another, another window to look into. Um, and again, things will always come along. And that's what life is. If you keep your faith and you keep your faith in yourself and you believe, above anything else, believe in yourself that you can achieve what you want to achieve. Because again, worrying about things is not going to do any good. But believing in yourself, believing that I can do it, no matter how bad the situation looks, believing and having faith and having confidence, un unlimited, unmighty confidence in yourself, is something that money can't buy. And it's something that, you know, none, nobody in, in this world can give you. It's something that, you know, it's inside you. You just need to know how to find it. Because, again, you get your confidence, you get your nerve. And, again, as I said to her, you know, there's a few grants going around. I said to, about applying for the Susie grant um, for colleges. And, and obviously, um, you know, she will look into that. Um, so it will be a good bit of money. So she will have to pay for, uh, she would have to pay very little for college, which is a benefit, as she said, it's very beneficial. That she gets out of it, but she, as she said, your place in Galway, um, from West Common, she probably to get a bus from West Common, so she's seen, but, um, getting a place in Galway, which is not a hundred miles away, West Common, but at the end of the day, she, as she said, she doesn't want to be getting on the bus every evening 
going back and forward, you know, and I, I sympathize with them that it's difficult. Um, but again, I say to young people out there, especially when you're going into college, you're not to worry yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. And you know, things will always work out. And again, it goes back to the old saying, you know, God will always open another door. If you have faith in yourself, you have faith in God, you have faith and you pray, you know, everything will work out. And trust me on that, trust me on that, trust me on the highest level on that. That everything will work out. If you pray and you hope, and you pray to God and you pray to your angels, that you know, things will work out, things will work out. Believe me, things will always come along. There's always something that comes along. And as long as you believe in yourself, everything will work out. Everything will work out. The future is your oyster. The future is your oyster. As one person often said to me, the one person holding you back in the, from your future is yourself. It's the fear in yourself. But when you take that fear out of yourself, you have unbelievable determination to push forward, to push for a better tomorrow, to push for a better week, push for a better year. Because if you take that fear out of your body, the, the world is your oyster, and you fear nothing. And you can own it. You can own your fear. And that's something your money can't buy. And I say it, and I will help you out, Kira, don't worry, if you ever want to get in touch with me, don't be afraid to contact me at any time, any time at all. And I'll get back to you, if I can't get back to you at that moment, I will get back to you at the end uh, as soon as possible. But again, I say to even those students, to believe in yourself. Again, that's the one thing I want to say. Believe, believe that you can do it. Again, keep saying, I can do it. I can do it. No matter what happens, I can do it. I can achieve it. I can overcome this. I've overcome worse. Believe in yourself. There's always more fight in your body than you believe, than you know. You just need to find it. So please take care of yourself, so mind yourself, and bye.